Kerry Sullivan here with another how to kick ass in sales.com tip of the day. Today's all about how to close the sale. So closing the sale could be something that's really tricky for a lot of people. I've coached a lot of people through this and this is something that I used to really struggle with too, right? You'll get to the end of a sale, you do a good presentation, you've built up good rapport with the person and they're smiling, they're nodding and you're in that awkward situation where like, is this person gonna buy or not? You don't really know what to do. So I'm gonna give you two ways that you can handle this that will help you close a lot more deals. So the first thing is that there's a lot of really aggressive salesmen out there and they're not really good salesmen, but they're just not afraid to ask for the sale, right? So they will go ahead and just ask for the sale. So when you get to that point, if you're not asking for the sale, you know, most sales professionals out there that struggle don't even ask for the sale. They just kind of let things go and then the customer takes control and they're like, okay, I'll, I'll just get back to you and the deal never gets done, right? So if you take control at that point and just ask for their sales, ask them, you know, how do you want to pay for this, right? Just ask them that. Or what kind of credit card do you want to use for this? Just ask them that. Just going like that at it, even though it feels awkward and clumsy sometimes, just doing that alone is going to automatically increase your sales rate. It's pretty crazy. But this is why a lot of really aggressive sales guys do good because they're not afraid to ask for the sale. Even though a lot of these guys, they think they're really good at sales. They're really not. They're really not good at listening or anything like that, but they're not afraid to close the sale. And as a result, they are able to get more deals done and actually close more transactions. So that is what one of the first things I started doing is just asking for the sale. But I've learned a different way to take it and that's just assuming the sale, which assumes that they're gonna buy it, and when you do that, you then go into what day do you want this product delivered to you, right? Or what kind of warranty do you wanna put on this? Or what color do you want in this? And you just start start assuming the sale, or what is the billing address associated with the card? Or, or what is the shipping address you want this sent to, right? And when you start rolling, rolling into those things, you are automatically assuming that they are going to buy or that they have bought already in their mind. And when you start doing that, you're able to close a lot more deals as well. And that's something that's worked really good for me, just assuming the sale, rolling into that you know and, and just doing it like that but like I said before if you can't do that and you're not slick with it just automatically just go out there and make sure that you're just at least at least asking for the sale and that alone will increase how many people you're actually closing so this is Kerry Sullivan with another how to kick ass in sales.com tip of the day if you like this feel free to share it and hey if you want to have a free coaching call with me go ahead and let me know below and uh, just reach out to me on any of the social media platforms you can get me on Twitter Facebook YouTube my blog how to kick kickassandsales.com and you'll find me and we'll set up a time to have a free coaching call and see if we can help you go out there and close more deals and collect more cash. So this is Kerry Sullivan with another how to kick ass and sales.com tip of the day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.